Hello everybody, and welcome to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, we are going to be making tetramethyl ammonium hexabromotellurate 4 because I can't find any mention of it online, and I've never seen it, so yeah, let's make that shit. Um, we're also going to give pyridinium hexabromotellurate a try for shits and giggles. Um, and before we get started, just a reminder to everybody that this channel does not get a penny of ad revenue on any platform. Um, it's 100% supported by you guys. If you like what you see and you are enjoying the videos, um, as you are enjoying the fact that I am able to put out videos now much more quickly than I was able to before, um, then you know you want to support this endeavor. There are some links in the description where you could do so and it would be very much so appreciated um, now now we got that out of the way let's get to it so the first step that we're going to have to do is we are going to have to make um, essentially it's going to be hexabromotelluric acid um, we will synthesize tellurium tetrabromide in solution and concentrated hydrobromic acid because it rapidly hydrolyzes in water. Um, that should, just because of the excess of bromide ion that's going to be in there, that should form the hexabromotelluri ion. Then we will add tetramethyl ammonium bromide, which I have here. Um, dissolved in hydrobromic acid into that and it should precipitate out our stuff. Now what we have here is two grams of pulverized elemental tellurium. You can see it there. It's very nice. Yes. Um, it's just a metallic looking element. Of course it's not a metal. It's a metalloid but it certainly likes to pretend that it's a metal. Um, anyway, the stuff is very cheap, by the way. You can get it on, like, the internet for, oh, I don't know, you can get, like, 10 grams of this stuff for maybe under 20 bucks, so it's not like it's expensive. Um, originally, I was going to dissolve it in sulfuric acid and then add water to it to precipitate out amorphous tellurium. That's a trick you can do. But elemental tellurium is so brittle that even my crippled ass was able to um, pulverize this using a mortar and pestle um, very, very easily in less than five minutes. So it's very easy to grind up. In my experience, it's actually easier to grind up than selenium. Now, I've already made up tellurium tetrabromide and concentrated hydrobromic acid in the past. Um, those of you that are longtime friend, fans of the channel may remember that I actually did a video on um, hexaiodotellurate. At least I think it's hexaiodotellurate. Um, I think it's like one of the few examples out there of a hexaiodinated complex. At least that's the best that I can remember. Um, it's a black compound. It's kind of nondescript. If I had any hydriotic acid, I would make some of that along with this. But um, in that video, I talked about ammonium hexabromotellurate, but I never actually made a video on making any kind of bromotellurate ever. So we do have a little bit of the stuff that we will be making here. And see, it's a nice red liquid. It's very pretty. Anyway... Here is how you go about making this shit. All right, so to get this party started, we are going to have to add some hydrobromic acid to our beaker here. No set amount, we're just going to add some. Tellurium won't dissolve in hydrobromic acid by itself, or at least it's not supposed to. Okay. Now we are going to add, zoom in a little bit better there. It's been so long since I've done this, I can't remember if it changed colors like that before or not. Um, tell you what, let's add a little bit more here just to be on the safe side. Hydrobromic acid is a little pricey to make, but that's okay. All right, now, time for the bromine. It's 
always time for black. I want to be very, very, very careful not to get this shit on me because it burns like a motherfucker. Okay. Oh, it's always so hard. It always wants to fly out of the pipe head. Ugh. All right. Let's put a lid on that. Get our stirring going. Maybe I should have used a smaller bead. And there we go. I think it is already starting to happen, kids. All right. I'm just going to let this run as it is here for a minute. Um, I don't think that we need to heat it. Yeah, I think it's just going to take a little time. I'll warm it up a little bit. Not much. I don't think it needs much. All right. Now, it's just a question of letting this go until all of the tellurium has reacted and gone into solution. So I will come back once we have reached that point. Okay, so after just a couple of minutes of some gentle warming and another shot of bromine in there, all of our tellurium has gone into solution. You know, the fact that it took more elemental bromine really leads me to believe that it's the tribromide ion that's actually reacting with the tellurium. Um, otherwise, I, I would think that HBR would do it on its own. Oh well, at any rate, um, you can see there's still excess bromine in there. It's still being blown off. When you get it out of there, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the solution up on the walls is a little bit yellowish in color. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to get our tetramethyl ammonium bromide ready to go. So we are going to take this and put this on here and add a little water to it there we go and we want to use a minimal amount of water since our compound is probably not going to be terribly stable in water i expect this stuff will go into solution very easily tetramethyl ammonium bromide is used in um i know it's used in some kind of um, research. I'm sure I've got it on the screen there. A little bit of trivia for you. All right. Yeah, this stuff is super soluble. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Dissolve, damn it. I am concerned about the common ion effect making it precipitate as soon as I add the HBR. I guess we'll find out if that's a thing, huh? Okay, here we go. Oh, well. Did that indeed happen? That's weird. Seems like every time I add some little chunks up here. Or is that just stirring up there and I'm just missing it? Yeah, okay, they were already there. It's fine. Dissolve, damn you. Huh. Hurry the fuck up. People are waiting here. The fuck is your problem? Alright, here we go. Okay, kids. Oh, don't you get that shit on me. Alright, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll do it like that. All right, moment of truth. Let me make sure we don't lose our stir bar here. Or it was some magnets there. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Wow. We got a lot of it. Holy shit. Uh, well... I'm going to have to use HBR to thin it down some so we can actually see it. Shit. Um, hold on, guys. I know. I know. I'm coming. It's like tomato soup. Bromine-laden tomato soup from hell. <laughs> oh, and it's fuming. Awesome. Oh, I love it already. 
Yay, another fuming solid, my favorites. Boy, that, we got a lot of it, holy shit. I clearly should have made less. <laughs> well, okay then, um, all right, let's, whoa, come on camera. We got some kind of brain cancer going on. Okay, um, uh, all right. Oh, wow, yeah, man, we're getting white fumes instead of bromine fumes. Look at that shit. I don't know, can you see that? And uh, I do not like this camera. Well, I don't know if it's showing up or not. Uh, this is like a very vibrant red. Because the ammonium salt was more of a reddish orange, but this stuff is just looking very red indeed. Huh. Well, we're totally going to have to filter this somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Still got a fuck ton of bromine in it, man. I have no idea how we're gonna do that. I'll probably eat through any kind of filter paper I try to use. I swear. That is so funny. Alright, um, let me figure out how I'm gonna deal with this sludge and I will be right back. Okay, I ended up having to use a lot of my hydrobromic acid, but I was finally able to get this stuff where it's thin enough to be workable. Look at that. We've got a nice red compound. Probably should keep it covered so it doesn't begin to break down on us. Um, I imagine there's enough bromine still in there that it'll hang around for a while. Oh, that's interesting. I've got it on my fingers. How did I get it on my fingers? Um, hold on, that may not be good. Okay, so, now that I've handled my minor crisis, what we are going to do is try to filter this and see what happens. Can we actually pull this off? Oh God, it reeks of bromine. Oh shit, come here you motherfucker. Come on you son of a whore. Well, I can report that water breaks it down rapidly. Oh, God. Oh, the bromine vapor, it's like in my eyes. It burns. Ah! Remember, kids, this is one of those do as I say, not as I do kind of things. <laughs> Don't play with bromine. Okay, let's try this again. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Bromine's super fun to play with. And there we go. Awesome! Boy, that is a beautiful red color. You know what's really funny is that it is almost indistinguishable from cesium pentaiodobismethate slash antimonate slash arsenate <laughs> and um, tetramethyl ammonium hexachloropalladate. They're all about the same damn color. That's kind of interesting. All right. Come on. Don't break down on me. Hurry up, filter. It's supposed to rain again today, because of course it is. Okay, and I'm gonna rinse it with a little HBR. Oh yeah, we're already starting to get it to break down a little bit, I think. Okay. All right, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, you can see it's already starting to t break down a little bit on the surface there. Look at that. Let me get this shit in a container. <laughs> okay, everybody. I know there's some condensation on the sides of the jar here, but there is our tetramethylammonium hexabromotellurate. 
That is a beautiful red color. Look at that. Um, I may actually try to dry this in the desiccator. I mean, the CCM hexabroma arsenate seemed to do okay-ish in there. And at least get it so it's not so damn pasty and wet. You know, maybe I can get it so it's at least dry-ish. Um, because I don't think air is a problem. I think it's just humidity. Uh... Yeah, we'll have to give something like that a try. I don't know. I'm a little iffy on my molecular sieves and this kind of HBR vapor, but I don't know. I'll come up with a different desiccant. Anyhow, let's go ahead and wrap this up before the approaching thunderstorm gets here. So what we have here is that solution that I had in the amber bottle earlier. I just transferred it to a little vial here. And I figured what I would do is I would just add pyridine to this directly. Um, there's already hydrobromic acid in here, so that should cause the precipitation of the pyridinium hexabromatolurate. Um, and this way I can keep it in this bottle, which, I mean, I had some luck with the ammonium hexachloroselenate crystallizing over the course of a couple years, so who knows? Maybe this shit will too. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I figured that out with the uh, hexachloroselenate, it's like, well, fuck, man, let's try to you know, see so that some of this shit will crystallize over time like that shit did. Kind of enjoying this, putting it in the um, bottles here and leaving it in the liquid and seeing what happens. All right, so here we go with the pyridine. Just going to add a little bit of this to this. Oh, did you look at that? That's kind of a different color. Oh, no. No, that's turning out to look largely the same. Uh, well, shit. Let's, uh, just tap this bitch and shake it up. Ah, yes. Largely the same color. I suspected that would be the case. Pyridine isn't terribly different from tetramethyl ammonium when it comes to making these kinds of complexes. It's an organic base. As long as they're ionized. Ah, look at that. Cool. Let's add a little bit more. Just a little bit more pyridine to that. Because why not? Oh, okay. It's kind of yellowish there on the sides. Interesting, interesting. I wonder what that's all about. All right. There we go. Neat. <laughs> that's awesome. And that way, too, you know, if I this breaks down during drying or I lose it for some other reason... At least I have a representative hexabromotolurate compound here made with an organic base. Ha! Huh, that turned out really cool. Okay, everybody, so I added a little bit more HBR to this to rinse everything down into the bottom of the vial. And that gives us a little bit of a better view of the true color of this stuff. It really is a little bit darker than this. So I almost prefer the color of this stuff. It's more rich, deep red, in my opinion. <clears throat> but anyway, they're both fucking beautiful. Um, there you go. Exotic hexabromotolurates you won't see anywhere else. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well... If you're on other platforms, you can dislike it and other people can see it. Not so much for YouTube, unfortunately. Subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks if you enjoyed seeing me weird make weird chemicals like this. Donate a few bucks if you enjoyed seeing me make weird chemicals like this. And until the next one, you guys, I will see you later. That's fucking beautiful. I love those colors.